Hello everyone, welcome back to my European Space Agency RP-1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have discovered that the Mark 1 lander can now has a proficiency and a mission after I have trained them for the Apollo mission and proficiency and they were all ready to go. It's no longer this vague little landing thing, it's now its own special thing. And so uh, we, we will have to train them specifically for the Mark 1 lander can. And uh, we had all four finish at the same time, and Muhammad is also free, so we've trained Muhammad for the Apollo mission again. But I don't know if the Apollo mission is going to run out before we're done with the Mark 1 lander can. Do they need the Mark 1 lander can proficiency at all? Because last time they didn't seem to need to, and it worked, right? I, I don't know. Uh, but it's got to take them an extra 80 days. We're building some backups. I've added the science to the lander there. That's why that lander is taking some extra time. And then we have a backup set. And uh, yeah, I was hoping to get this done before we had to do that mid-course uh, correction with the Jewel 4. But now we have to do these proficiencies and we can't. Okay, maybe we can do this before the Jewel 4. So now we have to do the mission training for the Mark 1 lander can. I don't know whether I need all of them. Oh, there's a limited number of seats. Okay, there's only two seats available for the mission training for the Mark 1 lander can. I don't know why that is. Uh, those are the two that we'll train. I don't know why there's limited seats and how we would increase seats at all. But, oh, okay, that's instantaneous. All right, I guess we're ready to go then. So, am I forgetting anything? Uh, do they get more seats now? Can I train the other two? Okay, I guess I, uh, let's just have them all trained. Everybody available has been trained. If we take a look, let's just verify. Proficiency with Paul, proficiency with landing, proficiency with lander cabin small. Mission training for land. Does it overwrite? Oh no. Does that mean the Apollo training got wiped out? Ah, uh, come on. They have to be proficient at both, right? I don't know. Yeah, no train crew. What? So we don't. So we shouldn't have trained them for that at all. Oh, great! Now we have to take extra time. You guys just all be proficient with Apollo, or but yeah, if they're not proficient with Apollo, they can't launch with the Apollo, well, with the Mark One Three command pod. It's it's just a matter of what they are gonna launch in, I guess. We can't put them in. So if we tried to put train one for the Mark 1-3 command pod and the other for Mark 1 lander can, the other one won't be able to get in to the mission. So, okay, well, extra time. And this time we will pay attention to the Jewel 4. Oh, that will finish first. And then we'll pay attention to the Jewel 4. Our poor little lander has been hanging out forever. I hope it's all right. Interesting. What was it doing? Mass spectrometry. It's been taking a while, huh? Okay, well, our orbit is dynamically changing at the moment. That's one of the extra patch conics, though. Don't have to worry about that. It's that one. Got that Ganymede encounter, it looks like. And we've got a nice pass at Jupiter. Uh, so we've got a very brief Ganymede encounter, I think, unless we're crashing into it. Nope. Okay, so a quick pass at Ganymede, and then we can capture around Jewel pretty easily, I think. So we will pay attention to this when it gets in. I don't think we need to adjust anything, though. But yeah, it's just good manners to pay attention to a probe when it enters a new SOI, right? Right. Okay, so we'll see it then. We don't have to orient or anything. It's got RTGs. Uh, Jewel 2 is out of electric charge. I think that's fine. An orbital perturbation experiment around space high. Oh, it's got electric charge now. Around space high is done, finally. And we've got all the mission training for Apollo. So finally, uh, well, we want to try to launch in daylight. All right, well with some trepidation, and the fact that we haven't launched to the moon for more than a year for one of these missions, we'll try it. Of course, the main thing that can get us now is RNG with the engine losses, 
But another thing that can get us is just me being silly. That's always a possibility. Oh, 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 I just passed it. Okay, but we should be okay. All right, ignition. Oh, up. <laughs> Pass the speed of sound. All right, no problems. Booster set. Though so there's that weird docking port overheating on the top. All right, separating launch escape system. Oh 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 oh! Always let that run a little bit too long. Okay. Uh, well, we are in orbit. Separation. Oh. Looks like we'll have to actually ignite the engines a little bit. Well, that'll do. Well, we'll need to do a mid-course correction, but that's no surprise. That's the depleted lander. That is the lander we want. And yeah, right now we have way too much inclination to it because of our launch a little bit too late. And we ended up with a 0.6 degree inclination to the moon. But we'll fix that on a mid-course correction. And we'll do this for now. Okay, ignition. All three have lit. And we're off to the moon. Okay, that'll be fine for now. And we will plot the mid-course correction. We'll use the stage to turn. Maybe we will relight it. We'll see. We'll try that, and we'll try and phase by getting this into a lower orbit, so like that. Okay, so that's our mid-course correction. Out we go. Really, hardly any indication of stress or radiation right now. Okay, 1% radiation. I mean, on a trip to Mars, we'll have to see, but so far so good. Let's do the rest with the RCS. Okay, pretty good. On to the moon. So that's basically the orbit that we want. Let's just proceed to periapsis. There's the moon. Better view this time than last time, I think. Ooh, it looked a little bit wobbly there. <laughs> Well, might as well exhaust what we can. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, we get 0.2 tons around here somehow. Okay, that's a capture. Let's wait until we're a little bit closer to apoapsis, uh, periapsis. Well, we're definitely looking at Frau Mauro here as our landing location this time. Things have moved on from where they were. Unfortunately, our lander's behind us. Maybe we'll keep it in a slightly higher orbit this time. Uh, it's unfortunate that the high point for the lander is on this side. Okay, let's see. That's 230. Okay, well, that's actually lower than I wanted. <laughs> um, let's hop over to the lander and get into a lower orbit. We're going to switch engines here. Do I trust switching to the lander? That's the depleted lander. Whoops. Last time I switched to the lander like this, it gave me a weird view of the pad. It did it again! I just did switch to the lander and it gives me a weird view of the pad. When did this bug start happening? I, I don't remember this one before. But now it's doing that pretty consistently when I switched to the lander. Okay, but we got here eventually. And it seems to be all right. No, it's not pointing in the right direction for electric charge right now, though, that's for sure. We'll just go to periapsis and bring that apoapsis down to catch up. Okay, ignition. 
Okay, we're trying to have the rendezvous over here. Let me activate the pods forward RCS as well. Just to adjust things a little bit. Okay, so that's how we will be. And let me just point this out at the sun again. And we should be able to do the rest with the Mark 1-3 pod. Okay, now it's right behind us, so we're going to do a little burn here. Make sure it doesn't get in front of us. Okay, well that's just barely within render range, but that's good enough. On the next orbit we should meet up with it. Okay, just kill rotation there. Right. Oh, well, nighttime docking is unfortunate, but here we go. All right, we have docked. And now we temporarily don't have avionics, but that's okay. We we're going to have high D. Take things. So, all right. Careful of the limited ship pack propellant. So yeah, this lander doesn't have the surface science. The next one will. Okay, well, no problems there. And we will proceed so that both sides actually have control. Okie dokie. The markers sort of float a little bit, so... Anyway, what we're going to do is maneuver over here to start a descent, and that will include a little bit of inclination change. I think that'll be good enough. All right. I just wanted to show landing predictions. I'm not going to use it to land, that's for sure. Okay. Let us proceed. We have to land in any of those places. Oh, stay on the moon for two days. Is that going to be all right? Well, barely. <laughs> uh, we better rendezvous quickly. We've got, it says two days, 23 hours, two days and 17 hours on lithium hydroxide seems the most limited. So that's tight. Okay, but I think we can rendezvous quickly. We're not carrying anything extra here. Ignition. A little bit off there. All right, that's probably good enough. Again, I don't know what kind of precision they want. Okay, here we go. I think we should go further north. Well, I wonder how crazy out of phase the pod's going to be after two days. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Oh, we need more pitch because we're coming at it a little bit too soon. Oops. It would have been better to land there instead of at Fra Maro. We'll see. Depends how everything turns. Okay, well, I think we're too soon here. Let's let the suicide burn countdown go for a little bit. Okay. Still looking pretty good. Okay. Well, it's a lot of suicide burn countdown again. Eight hundred and seventy two to our marker. No, oh, uh we're going further like that. Or falling short, I should say. We're about eight hundred meters off to the side from our target location. Pretty good. I mean as far as the target I've picked. Oh, but I'm gonna sacrifice some of that. I do want to land safely and everything. Oh, that's a too much. I don't want to sacrifice that much. <laughs> cancel that, cancel that. 
Okay, next. Okay. Well, we'll just land somewhere around here then. Yeah, we're falling a little bit short, but let's just do the safe thing. We'll be very close. I should have given myself a little bit more lead time for this bit. No, for uh, lead distance, I should say. All right, we're uh, we're sort of there-ish. Oop. Okay, let's just go down. All right. RCS. All right, are we there? Okay. I don't. I guess land requires us. I don't know. Are we in the right place? I, uh, it's removed the mark. No, it hasn't removed the mark. Oh, the marker is up there though. No, oh, activate. Maybe we're too far south. We're 11 kilometers away. Go up and try and hop over there? I think that's dangerous. You know, I, my initial marker was apparently... ...dubious. Well, anyway. Oh, we've already done the surface sample here too. That's great. <laughs> okay, well we don't need to do that. I guess we'll plant a flag. Heidi on the moon. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Oh, it, it resets the timer if she hops, though. No, uh, let's go back in. Uh, landed state does not remain landed if she hops above the surface. But I don't think this will qualify. But I guess it'll be a test of whether we can land for two days and get back safely. The electric charge might be an issue. Do we still have... Uh, we should have avionics off, right? I don't know if the power is going to last for two days anyway. Well, we're mostly through day one. Maybe it will, but barely. Mm. Oh, oh, it's definitely not going to last like this. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we're sort of in the blind here. I didn't expect to be in the dark so quickly. What? Oh, it's an eclipse. It's an eclipse. Okay, temporary situation. Uh, probably hurting our whole business. Okay, now we've got light. But boy, it's gonna be tough getting back to our mission. We have to wait nine more hours. I don't think this pod is good enough right now. We're going to have to make changes. I think for safety's sake we should just launch and try and get back. Maybe we need RTGs. <laughs> We should just use RTGs, why not? Okay. Delta V wise this is gonna be tough, but we'll see. Um let's make sure that the pod is at least a little bit closer. Okay, that should be maybe okay. Alright. Um let's go with SAS first. RCS and ignition. It'd be funny if I accidentally had Heidi still on the ground, right? Okay, so let's go 130, pitch 90, execute. I'd actually say 120 might be fine. But honestly, uh, enough RTGs to actually power a crude vessel is a lot of RTGs. So we probably just want better solar panels. And a little bit more food, water, and oxygen for safety's sake. This will at least test our capability to rendezvous back with the pod, given this gap here. Okay, that's orbit. So, well, we see where we cross. Uh, maybe we could have delayed that more, but that's almost 9 degrees away. We didn't do it exactly right. Uh, it looks like uh, we went... The, the timing was a little bit off, but I'm sure we can rendezvous quickly enough. We might be able to help ourselves out if we lift our orbit more here.
that closest approach is over there. So you'll see. We'll try this. There's the inclination change, but then we only have 50 left. But the pod will have to do the rest. Okay, we got two burns. It'll take basically all we've got, and then the pod will have to do the rest. So this is all very tenuous coming back after two days. It'd be easier if we didn't have to hurry, but we have to hurry because of the electric charge. Okay, right now inclination is good, but periapsis is not so good, so we have to lift it up. Okay, at this point I'll leave this just pointing at the sun. Okay, it's actually a pretty mild correction that will get us there. Uh, we only need to do 7.3 meters per second, and then relative speed is 16, so actually the lander could probably handle it. But uh, we'll do it with this now. Then again, on the lander side, the equivalent change might be a bit perilous. In other words, crashing the lander into the surface or something. So definitely better to do it with this. Okay, we're in render range. Oh, uh, let's do that side first. Okay, it was spinning and recharging. Still got 1,759 charge left, apparently. But, uh, yeah, that's not much. I'll have to do something about that in the future. Oh, that turn actually moved us quite a lot. But again, the, the RCS on this is very powerful at this stage. It doesn't actually read any delta V right now, which is interesting. I guess we used more than I thought. Okay, we have connected. ID will EVA. This time, this one doesn't have much left. And um, I don't even know if it has enough to deorbit itself, but we're going to try. Since the engines aren't reading any delta V, I'm just going to use the RCS here. Oh yeah, it looks like it does have enough. Okay. And we were able to switch back to the pod. Good times. Okay, let's bring him back. Alright, ignition. Okay, oh, that was too much. Okay, well, that's good enough. Up we go. Descent mitigation. Okay, well, just shut that down. Check that here. We've got all the innovation in TO. And unlock that stuff now. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do this time. Separation. Arming the parachutes. Absolutely no descent mode. <laughs> descent mode is not on. I guess we can do some of this stuff right now. I keep missing that. We haven't done the crew science with this thing much. That is something we can do. Here we go. Okay, definitely suborbital. We are um, approaching Africa. We will be landing in Africa. All right, no big problems there. Okay, full parachute deployment. Well, we didn't get the mission done, but it's nice to get them back considering how tight the Delta V margins were on the lander in particular. 
we will have to make adjustments, it looks like. And we weren't close enough to the target landing spot either. So the tolerances are tighter than I might have expected. I should just type in the landing coordinates into MacJeb instead of trying to place the marker. All right, recover vessel, normal recovery. Well, we are constructing a backup mission, so you might want to construct yet another backup mission the way things are going. We will have to do the next mission pretty quickly because our other pair of Kerbals have been trained and their mission training will uh, lapse if we don't get them going quickly. So we'll have to make the lander adjustments soon. I'll have to see how to do that. But for now, we have brought them back and we are happy with that. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.